All right, so uh, we did the video uh, testing the battery capacity on the 21700 battery from uh, countycom.com's website. Now, we got the light, which is right here. I just pulled the battery off the charger, it's fully charged. Um, the website says that uh, you get a run time of up to four hours on medium, 75 minutes on high, and there's not a run time for turbo mode, which is, you know, full power. They say 10,000 lumens. I have no way to measure lumens. I wish I could do it because, I mean, it's a really bright light. This is a good light. I like this light. I mean, we got Cree LEDs, uh, you got a sapphire lens, uh, but it's a floodlight. So I can put it up in an area, like under a hood or, you know, I was working on a, I'm an aircraft mechanic, so I was working on a uh, engine the other day and I had the thrust reverser open. And man, I mean, it lit up everything and there were no shadows, it was, it was great. But I had it on high and I, I feel like I was getting about an hour of run time, which 75 minutes is about an hour. Uh, I say I feel like I was getting about an hour, like like it probably felt like an hour, and then I started thinking about it, and I thought, man, I was about 40 minutes, which got me on this, on this path that we're on now. Um, so, I tried this test earlier on high. I don't know how long it went, but when I came and checked on it, it, it had bounced down to a lower lower uh, brightness level. Uh, what had happened is it hit that thermal cutoff, it got warm, and uh, it, it thermally regulated, which is why they don't give a runtime for turbo mode because you're never gonna deplete the battery before it, it, it thermally regulates. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it on medium, which is 600 lumens according to the website, and you should get four hours. And uh, I'll let it film the whole time, and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll just speed the, the film up. But uh, it won't thermally regulate then. I know it won't get that warm. So here we go. So I became aware that the stopwatch was going dark after five minutes i thought the screen would probably stay on if the stopwatch was in use but that wasn't the case so uh, i decided to drop a watch into the scene and at the eight o'clock on the watch the stopwatch is at one hour and 38 minutes yeah you did tell so we've been uh going for an hour and 38 minutes now at eight o'clock All right, so uh, I've removed the battery from the light because it's no longer able to run in your three primary modes. You can't run it on high. It won't run on medium, derated down to uh, the low level. So the question is, what uh, voltage is the light uh, programmed to, uh, to just no longer work, really? I mean, what, what's the voltage cutoff? So I've taken the battery out, stuck it on the charger, uh, and we're at 3.2 volts. That's our voltage cutout. That's a proper voltage cutout. It's where it should be. And that's also where we, uh, uh, when we discharged it on the charger to do a capacity test, that's, that's also what we had set the voltage cutout to. Well, how'd we do? Well, our actual run time was two hours and 24 minutes. The advertised run time was four hours on medium. So that's a difference of, I don't know, 70, 
Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, the battery, as you recall, our test, uh, we, it's a 4,200 milliamp hour battery. We're gonna say 2,200 milliamp capacity was the real capacity. Um, that's 52%. Um, so, well, 184. So 76% uh, difference uh, in our run, stated runtime. Uh, I did find where the uh, temperature cutoff is 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Just something to note. Um, so I think the bottom line here is the battery is junk. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, I sent an email to uh, Mike at County Com. Let's see. And I said uh, in my email that, uh, you know, I have this light and uh, I asked him, I, I, I mentioned that I was going to do a test on the light. I mentioned on his website that the run times uh, were listed and you didn't mention the power source. Were these calculated run times or were they tested run times? battery capacity impacts runtime please elaborate what was your power source well my response was nothing he says the run times are based on optimum temperature use at 70 degrees fahrenheit since thermal limits are the other part to the equation which plays into efficiency too <sighs> whatever I mean, yeah, I could unpack a lot there. It's annoying. It's just annoying that I, you don't get an actual answer, you know? Just tell me what power source you used. Were these theoretical run times? Or did you actually experience these run times? I mean, I know you didn't. They're, the numbers are too perfect. It's, it's exactly four hours. It's exactly 12 hours on low. I mean, those are theoretical numbers. Theoretical numbers based on a 4,200 milliamp hour battery at a certain current draw at 70 degrees apparently, but that's not real world. I mean, look, I'm in my shop. It's 55 degrees in here. Uh, we should have had higher run times it, uh, based if, I mean, if he did it at 70 degrees, uh, then I should have, at the minute, I should have had four hours. I should have had close to four hours. I didn't. Oh, but then there's an addition. Also with intermittent use, since most people don't use a light for 10 to 20 hours at a time. 10 to 20 hours at a time. I don't even understand what he's trying to say. The the run times for the light don't even hit 20 hours or 10 hours. 12 hours on low. Of course, there's secret moon mode, which I guess would run... I don't know. I don't know how long it would run. Doesn't say... Uh, two lumens. So, two lumens. I mean, I guess it would run for a week. Um, yeah, so intermittent use, since most people don't use a light for 10 to 20 hours at a time. Also, this allows for higher usable output too. It's garbage. I didn't get a straight answer. I don't know what they use for a power source. My assumption is that these were theoretical calculations based on a 4,200 milliamp hour battery, which they do not have. I mean, this is not a 4,200 milliamp hour battery. I mean, unless the one I got was bad, which the the resistance is good, so I don't think it's bad, but whatever. My advice would be to buy an LG battery, a 5,000 milliamp hour LG battery. You'll get better run times. Also, you should know, 
I had the charger set to discharge at a 30 amp rate when we did our discharge test on the battery. The battery couldn't give it any more than 15, 14 amps. So their uh, information says the battery will discharge at a 45 amp rate. It won't, it just won't. Uh, we got 14, so that's about, that's more than 50%. Are you noticing a theme here? All of the numbers fall short by at around 50%. So, anyway. Thanks for watching. I like the light. I don't enjoy having anything negative to say about County Com. I like the stuff that I've gotten from them. And I like the light. Uh, it just needs to run longer uh, so a better battery is the solution adios